Hello family, family, welcome to Alipad Farms. I always say there's money in the soil and you always need to get your hands dirty. Today we want to have a small conversation uh, regarding on this, this topic that I want to treat on. Um, I believe uh, everybody want to, I mean, get to know this topic particularly. Flower falling and fruit abortion. The causes of flower falling and fruit abortion. Watch out, never forget to like this video, never forget to subscribe, and never forget to also share this video. If I'm able to get 500 likes for this video, I'll always keep on. Big man himself. Good afternoon. Yeah, man, general. You're on top. Yeah, I do. Today they be surprised in the Charlie. It's been a long time I've been here. Oh, I see my guy. Today, Charlie, everything cool. Today I'm here for a small interview with you. I came to Mr. Kwame to check some plants over there and I decided to pass through here and do some small interview with you. How is everything going? Uh, we stood the top. By the grace of God, you know, I always say there is money in the soil and you always need to get your hands dirty. You see that thing? So, you are welcome. Thank you, bro. Uh, you are welcome, Chairman. All I, I want to know... Great for we farmers, but I mean interview us as a part of uh, Alipat platforms, but you are promoting it. Thank you very much. Uh, the forum is open. You can ask any question you want. Okay. okay. Today, I'm just here to know how to prevent flower flowering and fruit abortion okay. from your fruit. Okay. okay. It's a nice question. It's a nice question. Welcome to Alipat Farms once again. Thank you, thank you. Bro. I always say there's money in the soil and you always need to get your hands dirty, as I said all the time. At this juncture, uh, I would like to thank my viewers uh, for always viewing my videos and always subscribing to my videos. Thank you very much, viewers for always subscribing keep on subscribing and also like to my videos and comment uh, the more you subscribe the more we also i mean have the uh, the strong or the feeling to also post informative uh, education information uh, videos uh you are asking of flower falling and fruit abortion this is such a nice question that uh, people are willing ask me all the time but uh, because of time factor I wasn't able to get time to talk about this particular topic but 
it seems people a lot of people need this particular to topic for their uh, understanding thank you very much for such a nice topic you have brought to my table flower falling and fruit abortion when we talk about flower falling and fruit abortion when we talk about flower falling and fruit abortion on plants doing it tomatoes doing it uh, uh, what do you call it bell pepper doing it your chili pepper or on on your on your crop a flower bowl plant to maintain a good standard of a flower on your plant and fruit on your plant let me take about the flower part people keep on complaining day in day out about flower falling on their plants they do they, they don't know the cause what causes the flower falling so people will be calling oh boss i want to know my flowers are falling from the plants what is the ma uh, matter what is the cause of it what you need to know is there is there are <coughs> there are certain factors you need to consider when you're having flower falling on your plant one you have to consider that ask yourself this question if there is excessive sunlight high temperature causes flower falling if there is a high temperature it causes flower falling one when we talk about the second time the second type uh, the second one is um, too much uh, nitrogen or oh, sorry too much nutrient the no, nitrogen yeah too much nitrogen to the plant too much nitrogen also cause what flower falling when there is much nitrogen in the soil it cause flower falling that is why when you are given application of fertilizer you need to check the quantity check the quantity to apply to the plant there shouldn't be much of nitrogen because too much of the nitrogen cause flower falling the third one is lack of nitrogen this one is too much of nitrogen cause flower falling but when the nitrogen too is too many or plenty within the soil it's too much in the soil it also cause flower falling the fourth part is uh, when the weather is too humid it's too cool when the weather is too much humid it also hot cause flower falling but when you have all this balanced and yes still you are facing flower falling then you have to ask yourself this question did you got an infestation a special fungal infestation during the the younger stage of the plant this infestation is called leaf spots or black spots that's why normally they call it but it's called leaf spots did you encounter leaf spots on your plant if you encounter leaf spots infestation this may result to a flower falling once the flower starts to fall it can develop the fruits which means you are lacking fruits or you are lacking yield that is why normally someone will say well, i have low yield i have this yield the yield wasn't plenty because there was a flower falling once the flower shoots or develop fruit or bring us fruit and you lack to protect the plant from fungal infection such as the leaf spot it also causes fruit abortion you will see that the fruit will start dropping down because the neck that holds the tomato plant or the, tom the tomato fruit the neck that holds the tomato fruit is weak and so it will fall the fruit down and this will result on fruit falling so you have to ask yourself these questions it's my is my plant 
consuming high temperature. Is my plant lack nitrogen? Is my plant intake high nitrogen? Is the weather too much humid? If you have this question, yes, then that means you are going to face flower falling. But if you have this balanced, there is amount of sunlight, there is amount of humid, there is a balance of uh, there is a balance of nitrogen to the plant. Then you, there is no need for you to face such infestation like flower falling. And if you, if you are not facing anything like leaf spot, you don't have to face this kind of challenges. What you need to do is to protect the plant from these factors. Good. Once everything is balanced and yesterday you are facing such factors, then that means you need to go in for your chemical treatment. The chemical treatment that you can go in for is a flowerable fungicide. Normally we use a, a top cup which is a flowerable fungicide. It help it help promote flower. It maintain flower falling and it help the plant to be a healthy form. So you have to consider your chemical application. You need to consider your chemical application. Once you apply your fungicide, your flowerable fungicides, you can then also go in for a foliar fertilizer, something like a super group, a tacamin, to help the plant shoot out a new flower buds. So kindly take note of this and work it on and you will thank me later. This is the main thing people face challenges on. Flower falling. Flower falling. Flower falling. Next video that I want to share more, uh, more ideas on this uh, compatible plants. Compatible plants. When we are talking about flower falling we are, and fruit abortion, we are also talking about compatible plants. Or when we, we can say companion. Plant that you can plant them together. Crops that you can plant them together. It is not all crops that you can crop together. There are certain crops which are harmful to other crops. You can plant cabbage and tomatoes on the same piece of land. It can be possible. There's a factors. You can cultivate that, but you will face infestations. There are factors that causes infection, both of the plants, because it has similar infestations. You can plant tomatoes and plant in maize. You have infestation. And the next time I will come on this board, I'm going to treat on that topic. You need to know your companion plants. Plants that you can plant together. But never forget to like this video. Never forget to share this video. And never forget to subscribe to this video. If I'm able to get 500 likes for this video, I will always educate you more and more on agriculture, farming, basically. So this is the video I want people to take note of. Share this video, like this video, and subscribe. Chairman, do you have any more questions you have to ask? Oh, I can say that's all for now. I'll come back later. I have a lot to ask. I'll come back later and ask more questions. Good. Thank you very much. Get your hands dirty. At all times. I always say there's money in the soil and you always need to get your hands dirty. Welcome to Alipas Farms once again. We love you all.
I'm going to go to the 